Hey, it's Thursday, October 19th. We're gonna be reading today in Isaiah 28. Uh, we're gonna start in verse 23. It says, listen and hear my voice. Pay attention and hear what I say. When a farmer plows for planting, does he plow continually? Does he keep on breaking up and working the soil? When he has leveled the surface, does he not sow caraway and scatter cumin? Does he not plant wheat in its place, barley in its plot, and spelt in its field? His God instructs him and teaches him the right way. Caraway is not threshed with a sledge, nor is the wheel of a cart rolled over cumin. Caraway is beaten out with a rod and cumin with a stick. Grain must be ground to make bread, so one does not go on threshing it forever. The wheels of a threshing cart may be rolled over it, but one does not use horses to grind grain. All this also comes from the Lord Almighty, whose plan is wonderful, whose wisdom is magnificent. So this is talking about, you know, the will of God for our lives is sanctification, that we are created in the image of God. Sin distorted that image, and God's will is to sanctify us and restore his image in us. And so this is a verse that is just talking, a section of scripture that's just talking about um, that God is going to use whatever means to get us to that place of sanctification. And so um, different people use different measures and means and different seasons require different methods also. So it just depends on what season that we're in. So the will of God is not our happiness or our comfort. The will of God is that we'd be sanctified and made to be like him. So the different stages it's talking about here, it's talking about plowing. There's the plowing season where we're being prepared. We're being prepared for the will of God and the ways of God and the kingdom of God to come through our lives. There's a sowing season where God's literally germinating his will and his presence and his very own image into us, his ways into us. And then there's the threshing season, a season that could be difficult and tribulation. Um, this is preservation of the true grain. That's what threshing does. It preserves the true grain, the pure grain, and what's precious from worthless is separated. So yes, it's a very rough process, that, that threshing process, because we have to cut away um, all that isn't that pure grain. And so it's just like us in our walk or our relationship with Jesus, he, he has to thresh and to cut away everything that is not of him, everything that's not glorifying to him, everything that's not promoting his kingdom coming through us to earth as it is in heaven. And so that's the threshing season. And so whether we're in the plowing and preparing or the sowing or the threshing or the reaping, because there's the reaping season too, where we get to reap the fruit of what God births in and through us. And so um, there's just so much beauty in the way that God is just like this gentle farmer who knows exactly what is needed in each person in each season. And it's different for all of us, but the Lord knows he is tender, he is caring, he is merciful. And though it might not feel like we're growing or getting somewhere the lord is using each season to do his work his sanctifying work and i just want us to be encouraged that no matter what season we're in or what it might feel like <laughs> um, it doesn't feel good to be threshed but it's a beautiful process it's a beautiful beautiful process where where purity is what comes out of that season and so no matter what we're walking through or feeling like in this season, we can know that God is good. He's tenderly caring for each one of us and he knows, he has all wisdom. He knows exactly what's needed for me to be made into his image and for you to be made into his image. And that's his goal. His goal isn't that I have everything I want and I'm just so comfortable in this life and that everything goes my way. That's not what he created me for or you for. He created us to be like him and to be pure vessels that can bring the kingdom of heaven to earth as it is in heaven. So let's praise him today. Lord, thank you that you are a good and tender and gracious and loving father, that you care so tenderly for each one of your children, that you'll 
you'll take care to pour in what needs to be poured in or um, take out what needs to be taken out of us or purify what needs to be purified or plant what needs to be planted in us. And so we just offer our lives to you. We trust you in this season that you are plowing, you are sowing, you are threshing, and we receive all of it from your hand and for your kingdom glory. In Jesus' name, amen.